so we're here at East Denver with uh, Jason Hartgrave from First Contact Crypto. And um, how are you enjoying the conference so far? Well, I tell you what, I'm super excited to be here, kind of supporting the blockchain. This is my first conference at uh, East Denver. Um, I'm kind of new to the space still. I got in probably around May of last year and just really dove in. Like, one of the things that really stand out to me is like how excited everybody is and, and how optimistic it is. It's kind of like the early startup days where everybody's working on, you know, really big sweeping projects. And, but there's still like this collaborative spirit and that's really cool, you know, being a part of the hackathon. And I'm just here as a volunteer, just, show, you know, trying to show my support for the community. Well, I can, I've seen you active as a volunteer and so I can see that you're very active in the space. So it's kind of a surprise that you say only since May. But can you tell us a little bit more about uh, First Contact Crypto and what your project is about? Well, yeah, and, and that kind of speaks to like you know how impacted I was when I really learned about what the potential of blockchain actually is and how transformative it can be with society. And one of the big problems right now is that mass adoption still hasn't occurred. And if we can actually make it happen a little bit faster, then I think that the entire space would be served. So our platform is going to be an incentivized education platform that introduces people to the concepts of crypto and blockchain for the first time in sort of a fun, gamified way. So think about it as like a, a Duolingo, but instead of learning languages, you're really learning about crypto. And, and blockchain. Mm -hmm. So that's the platform we're trying to build, but we're also trying to build our relationships with people that are in the ecosystem that are looking to gain that mass adoption. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful because I think crypto needs uh, more onboarding help um, and, and for, for it to be palatable or understood by the, the masses, you know. So right. what, what do you think are the real hurdles for mass adoption? Then? Uh, well, you know, some of it is the user experience, but some of it is just really understanding how it relates to you personally and individually. Mm -hmm. And like, I might be more uh, interested in like taking ownership of my music or taking ownership of my time or maybe not paying as many fees to PayPal or, you know, some of these other third party intermediaries that I've just sort of accepted the fact that I've been paying all this extra money to, but now there's a newer, better and faster way mm -hmm. and so that story is different depending on like you know are you a developer in the space or are you an end user in the space and so we need to really take that storytelling approach and be like hey what we really need to focus on is let's explore the entire spectrum of possibilities so the idea with first contact crypto is exploring kind of like taking the outer space exploration meme and just like hey we know that that's where everything is headed and it's sort of a new frontier for us all to explore. Uh -huh. So that's sort of, you know, in a nutshell, that's kind of what we're about. But really, at this show, it's sort of like finding out all the other projects that are out in this space and sort of bringing them together and say, how can we help you? How can we help you grow your project? Mm -hmm. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of the people outside of the crypto sphere, like my mom or like, <laughs> yeah, um, you know, they're, they're asking questions maybe a little different than, than the questions that we're asking. Like, they're not asking how, but they're asking why, you know, right. like, why crypto, you know? Right. So, like, um, how, how are you helping to approach that, those people and sort of bring them on board? Or uh, Well, one of the big things is, like, really uh, having a, a place in an, in an education platform that's going to emphasize safety, too. And so that way, people's first experience with the space is not being involved with the scammy ICO or some of these other um, opportunities that are out there, but say like, hey, wait, you know, why don't you learn a little bit first? We're actually going to give you small little recreational amounts of crypto so that way you can kind of play around with the technology and onboard them. A lot like what, you know, ETH Denver is trying to do with getting everybody to use crypto to buy the food at the show. Mm -hmm. Like these real world application uses is something that we need more of in the crypto space to allow people to explore cryptocurrency without having to make a huge investment. Mm -hmm. So making it very easy to do, uh, lowering the barrier to entry, making it a, a story form too and not so heavily technical, like not everybody here is for the technical talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of developers, 
but you know tomorrow is a lot of panels just on people talking about the general sentiments of the space mm -hmm. so having this like wide spectrum of, of conversations is necessary to bring people from all different sides into the space itself and explore mm -hmm. so that's kind of where I'm at you know so that's great well since you said you're a little new to the space or in the since the past year what was it that triggered it for you and then what was your 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 first contact you know <laughs> what brought you on board or set off your enthusiasm I was I, it was very unusual for me because I was in the digital marketing space and somebody that I had worked with in fact it was a team out of India um, that I had worked with in a different capacity for like search engine optimization in the early days of the internet they actually asked me to help them write their white paper so I caught a trial by fire because I had to market uh, the technology that I really didn't understand so I had to deep dive into the white paper and I had to deep dive into what what are the effects of cryptocurrencies and in how did their project really aim to make an impact in the space and once I really understood the transformative power of the blockchain especially in enabling the unbanked and people that may be in uh, less uh, currency friendly environments you know that are that their currency can wildly swing um, kind of helped me gain the perspective on how powerful this technology can be and how democratizing of a force it can be and when people realize how much crypto and blockchain can actually impact their level of individual freedom and allow them to take control of their life it became really a, a powerful mission that I needed to get behind and I felt like I needed to use my marketing efforts to promote a good message and that's sort of the genesis of where I got involved with crypto education great to hear yeah one thing leads to another and now the full snowball effect is in effect you know yeah and, and you can see that even even in a down market like here at East Denver like this is packed like there is lots of people there's lots of enthusiasm in the space and really it's not a matter of like if it's a matter of like when these ideas are really going to take hold in in more and more mainstream um, uh, environments and that's only going to happen if there's more and more narratives around the different applications of crypto and blockchain and shining a light on all these people that are creating like these really impactful projects even though there's only a very few people in the team um, they're able to leverage these technologies that can really change like entire industries are going to be disrupted yeah yeah um, so let's talk a little bit about the conference and your experience here so far it's it's only day one of a three-day conference um, but what would you say is your highlight so far and are there any other projects that are represented here that um, that, that that stand out to you well as I mentioned before I'm really interested in the, in the freedom and the actually the uh, the voice that crypto can give people and some of the cooler projects are really about voting and consensus mechanisms and if there's one thing that living in America in a democracy like this can tell us it's that these narratives between different people with different ideas on governance is just going to become more polarizing over time and by applying some of this uh, blockchain technology, we can ensure a lot more fair outcome and get really what a true pulse of what people could could be. We really need to adopt these new technologies to help our voting process evolve. And that's really what's exciting to me about uh, a couple of projects at Consensus in general. Like being able to really, for the first time, have the technology to create a decentralized, autonomous organization of people working together, cooperating for a common goal and having that voice. That's really powerful stuff that's going to change us. Great, great, yeah, wonderful to hear. Um, do you have any last words, I would say, any predictions about the future, any, like, five years ahead, ten years ahead, how do you envision blockchain playing a role in our daily lives? I know well, that's a far out question. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, uh, I'm an amateur futurist, so, I mean, it's really hard uh, to see what the impact of these technologies are going to be, but I think it's going to become very disruptive when we have 
multiple technological trends converging. So I think blockchain is a great underlying technology, um, but you know we don't walk around talking about what TCP/IP is doing in our everyday life. It's just there. It makes the internet run, and it's just a couple of letters in most people's vocabulary with very little meaning attached to it. And over the next few years, I believe that's what we're going to see blockchain technology become. It's just going to become more and more hidden, and the experiences are going to become more and more accessible to everyday people. But the impact of those, the story of those, is really what's going to to drive the adoption as these technologies mature. So I still think that we're uh, you know a couple years away from sort of mass adoption events, but I actually believe that the impending elections are going to shine a very big light on the possibility and the disruption that crypto uh, may have in, in, in giving people a way to really vote with their money in, in, in a new way and understand the value of, of different ways of having a voice using and kind of creating your own personal economy, if that makes any sense, sure. uh, through blockchain. Sure, sure, sure. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jason Hartgrave.